I thought I'd do an updated tour of my shop. I'm just a homeowner, DIYer, so I figured I'd show you some of the tools I have, some things that I've collected over the years, and some of the prices that I've paid for things, because I'm all about saving money and doing it yourself. Let's jump into it. I'll just start in the furthest corner. Here's my air compressor that I got for free. As you've seen in some of my past videos, I've done a little bit of work on it, but yeah, it was just trashed, and I just did some basic things on it, and it's back and running. Gas can, got my folding ladder, a creeper that I got for five bucks, my engine cradle stand, or engine support bar, I think it's technically called. And I don't think I've ever showed you inside here, so let me give you a quick tour of what's inside these uh, cabinet file drawers. A good family friend gave this to me. This is where I just kind of store a lot of random stuff. Some random blow molded cases with some various things. Random fasteners and hardware. I've got to go through this and organize it a little bit better. Uh, let's see, staples, just random odd and end things. Up here, some random power tools. For me, this is kind of the best I got now for storage. So, sawzall, another sawzall that I use just for kind of, you know, cutting bushes and things of that nature. Sander, that's I got for free. It's a Ryobi. Uh, router apparently it doesn't work but i actually haven't had any issues with it so i don't know what experience that owner was having the previous owner uh craftsman jigsaw and uh this is a skill sander and here more random tools a skill saw this is an air nailer a dremel tool stapler impact gun drill angle grinder multi-tool and uh hot glue gun up here this is just kind of my funnels and random automotive i guess i don't even know actually just random stuff funnels turkey baster for pulling out fluids some brushes i guess i have a heat gun up here too and yeah more funnels up here I got my leaf blower. Again, that was something somebody was giving away for free. They couldn't get it started, but all I had to do was clean the carburetor. I did a video on that. A whole bunch of orbital sander pads and a sander as well. Uh, another sander. And then my chop saw that I got for, I think it was like 20 bucks. And then some random saws and bolt cutters that I couldn't find a place for, so I just hung them up there. Here's my workbench area, I guess one of two. This is a Husky bench that I bought off Facebook Marketplace. I never like paying full price and it was like 40 bucks and it's, you know, it does the job. Uh, a lot of my parts containers here. So screws, random hardware and all that good stuff there. Uh, I think all in all, I spent like 10 bucks on all of these together. So pretty good. And yeah, there's that. And then this uh, drill press that unfortunately it's having issues. I think the motor's starting to go out because you actually have to manually spin the chuck to get it to start. So, yeah, I got to figure out that. But it works. So, can't I guess can't complain about that. And then my vice I got from uh, a neighbor that I did with some help on some projects with, and he gave me that. I haven't bolted it into the workbench because I don't a I don't like putting holes into things, and b not entirely sure if that's where I want it to be, so I've been just kind of toying around with it. It's kind of useless as is, but again, I'm not good at commitment. Underneath the workbench, um, I have this DeWalt kind of carrier here, just with random bits and fasteners. Again, I don't know what's going on here, but I just put stuff there. I found this random piece of granite um, while I was walking outside, and I actually kept it because if I'm ever doing something where I need to apply some heat, I don't want to set anything on fire, I can put it on that. Under here, PPE, knee pads, stuff of that nature. And then underneath here is all my clamps. I just use old boxes and stuff to try and keep them organized. Just too many to count and I need a better way to store them. Over here to the left, got some of my jack stands. And then I have some hooks around here that I've just hung some things that I use a lot, like this bolt sorter, which is helpful, a square. Those are the bolts that I'm going to use for the, uh, or that were used on my uh, 
vise before that I haven't put back, and then a brush just to sweep off my uh, bench. I don't think I've featured this toolbox in any of my videos, but this is a toolbox, again, I bought off Facebook Marketplace. I'm just all about not paying full price for things. Got this for $250, and I actually really like it. I mean, there are some small things here that I don't love, but again, it's for me, it's just a place to hold tools, and I like that it doubles as a workbench, so there we go. Uh, over here, this is just my drill bits. Or it's actually, sorry, no longer my drill bits. Just blades and other... Uh, there's my drill bits, and then spade bits. My bench grinder, which is uh, really only for extremely light duty work, it bogs down rather easily, but again, for my purposes and at this point and my budget, it works. Going through the drawers, this top drawer I believe is all my SAE sockets, um, and some wrenches, some, I'm gonna call them specialty wrenches. So, yeah, we have our six point and 12 point. I try to have duplicates just in case you need a, you know, one wrench and one, one socket on one and one socket on the other. Drawer number one is my SAE wrenches. Again, I like to have duplicates just in case we need one on one end, one on the other. Mostly Craftsman. And then I also have put some of my uh, spark gap, spark plug gapping tools and then some other miscellaneous uh, wrenches that I have that are SAE. Obviously these are flare nut wrenches and those are some stubby Below that, this is my uh, miscellaneous, I don't even know, drawer. Fun fact, I actually got this from a advent calendar, I think. It was for Legos or something. And I thought that these little compartments were actually really nice for just random, you know, parts like uh, grommets and things of that nature. So I put it in my toolbox and it fits perfectly in this drawer. And then rivet setting, rivet gun, uh, snips, fishing line. Just random stuff. Below that is, uh, this is my carpentry quote unquote drawer. So we have saws, blind tool, carpet cutting tool, caulking tool, chalk lines, fun stuff like that. And then below this one, uh, again, a Mostly trowels and drywall tools, but you know, a little hacksaw doesn't hurt and things of that nature. Right side of the toolbox. This is my uh, chisel and drift drawer, random things that I felt like went together. So I put them all here. A lot of hand-me-downs, a lot of rusty ones that I need to do some work on, but I'm not a carpenter, so I don't need to feel bad if they're uh, not in the greatest condition. This is my electrical drawer, electrical specialty tools. Um, yeah, a lot of these have you seen in some of my other videos. Things I don't really go to too much, but uh, stuff that, you know, I may or may not use. What is this guy? It's my power probe. Oh, yeah, it's my power probe. See, things I forget that I even have. So, And you also may have noticed that I have some of these silica packets. They absorb absorb moisture, so you might see these in your shoes or some things that you buy. So don't throw these away. They actually have a secondary use. Throw them in your toolbox and they'll help prevent rust. They do go bad or they stop collecting moisture, so you do need to, you know, get new ones, but they work. I think you know what this drawer is. This is all plumbing stuff. Um, again, things I don't always reach for, but if I ever need something that is dedicated for plumbing, throw it in here. Any, Here's an even more funny story. A lot of these tools, well, some of these tools I actually found on the road. Like this one, I had no idea what this was. I thought I was gonna throw it away, but I found out it's a spa nozzle disassembly tool. Who knows if I'm ever gonna get a spa? So I kept it. Same with this one. This is a whole house filter wrench for your water. Again, I don't have one, but what if somebody needs some help and I need to get that tool? Now I have it. Last drawer here is fortunately empty. Um, as you mostly pry bars, I'm hoping to figure out better what to throw in here, but for now, pry bars and you know, things of that nature for now. My floor jack got that one on marketplace as well, 100 bucks. Garbage can that I got for free, and then various accessories that I like. This is the can holder, uh, paper towel dispenser, glove holder, and extra drawer storage. You've already seen a tour of this box, but obviously I've updated things, so let me show you what's in this one. I love this toolbox. I love it. The top, got my magnetic tray, 
some random parts and bits that I occasionally go for. And then uh, some gauges, some lights, keys for the box, some magnets, and some lights that don't work. Since the other box is all my standard, this is my metric drawer, or I guess metric top. You can easily see I have tons of them. And then over here on the right, these are my, uh, I think, larger screwdrivers. This one I got from Goodwill. This was like $3 for the snap-on screwdriver. Some uh, impact screwdrivers. And some random. You know, for many of my videos, a lot of my sockets are craftsmen. So that's what most of these are. Some of my specialty, quote-unquote, sockets, like these, uh, these guys here. Allen, Hex, so on and so forth. Some of my bigger uh, ratchets, I think these are all half inch drive. Mac, Craftsman, Craftsman. This is John Deere. Yeah, John Deere. And then some of my really long screwdrivers. Extensions separated by 3 8 quarter, and half inch here in the front. Row one hasn't really changed since the last video, but uh, again, this is my uh, ratchet, crescent wrench, and screwdriver drawer. So I've tried to upgrade and get rid of some of my older, junkier ones, but a lot of my extra ratchets there. Um, crescent wrenches, miscellaneous precision screwdrivers and small wrenches, files galore. I know you're not supposed to store them on top of each other, but I'm human. And then a lot of my extra screwdrivers separated by flathead Phillips, and then I think random ones like Torx and Robertson. So those are the that drawer. Below that, I love this drawer to this day. Still my favorite. If you haven't got wire hanger or wire holders, dividers, whatever you call them, for your pliers, please get them. They will make so much more room. It's worth the money. I thought it was crazy at first to spend 20 bucks on something for organization, but these are awesome. So yeah, uh, let's see. Crescent wrench, or not crescent, uh, channel locks, uh, different sorts of needle nose, smaller uh, slip jaw pliers, more small wrenches. This is an old socket holder for Craftsman that I just kind of filed down one side. That way they can just lay in. And these are more miscellaneous types of pliers. And then on the left, my uh, bias grips and then more miscellaneous ones. And then here are my snap ring pliers. I need to upgrade those because I really need good ones. And those are terrible. Drawer number three. This one hasn't really changed as much. Hose picks, dental picks, which are really nice. We're doing really small, precise work. Um, some other precision instruments. Uh, trim tools and some measuring tools and some extra tape measures. Below that, this is my metric drawer. So metric wrenches. Why are you closing? Uh, metric wrenches, again, two sets, just so I can have uh, backup. And then here, I actually got this not that long ago. It's a uh, PM Tools or something like that. P and, where is it? Hold on, we'll get it. P and C, which I think somebody said was a predecessor or maybe a, I don't know. It used to be a tool truck brand, or I don't know. It's apparently a good brand. I've never heard of it, but if you know anything about PNC Tool, let me know. I think it was like a predecessor of Proto or something. I don't know. Anyway, so I got that set for pretty cheap. These are some extra Allen keys that, of course, I don't have the full set for, but no big deal. Below this guy is my hammer drawer. And some random cock gun and uh, impact drivers. So yeah, and then last but not least, my, I guess, miscellaneous automotive drawer, some torque wrenches, grease gun, uh, extra lug nuts in case, who knows, I find those on the street all the time, so I figure I'd collect them. And then oil filters for my cars, always have backups, and then just random tools. Lastly over here, this is just my uh, temporary fluid container storage. So coolant, gear oil, uh, transmission fluid, some old cups that I like to mix things in, 
Coca Pelle because I'm from the south or I'm in the southwest. Some empty toolboxes that might find a use here or there. And then below, oh, two bottle jacks, extra gas can, oil, uh, change stuff, furniture cart. Love this thing. And then here, I got this uh, file cabinet for free. This just holds some random stuff. So in the back, some table saw blades, and in the front, uh, some of my tool accessories, Dremel, router table, like whatever that thing is called. And then below, this drawer below that is some manuals, my bike stuff, and then some extra casters in case I ever need them. This is my motorcycle jack. I don't have one, but this is actually going to be used in a future video with some repair that I uh, need to do on my Jeep. So this guy uh, came in handy, of course, second hand, and check that video out when it comes out. Last area here is the table saw. That was a gift from my grandfather. I don't use it really much, but uh, definitely a nice tool to have in the shop as it does become necessary for some things. This is my Harbor Freight cart. I wanted something that I could easily access, move around. The other two carts that, or the other tool, two tool chests that you saw are more stationary and more for my extras. So this one is the one I primarily work out of, whether I'm working on my vehicles or maybe I need to grab something from you know, the shop to bring inside to work on something. This is my go-to. And then before I zoom in, these two are uh, some sawhorses that I got from a garage sale for like five bucks or something. All right, I am not happy with the setup of this cart, so don't get any uh, fun ideas from this. This is really temporary. Got to do a lot more work, slowly moving into it. But the top again is some things that I use, flashlight, universal socket, uh, pocket screwdriver, some alligator clips for jumping things, toolbox wire or lock keys. Below here, I have a set of 3 8 metric and standard sockets um, to work out of my hex key since the Jeep uses a lot of hex sockets or hex bolts and then some impact sockets because now that I have my uh, corded impact gun, it does come in handy now and again. Some of my favorite ratchets, um, I'm a sucker for these Harbor Freight ones. I don't know why, but they're not the greatest, but they work, right? Over here on the left, this is my... Uh, Phillips, so, and some of my pry bars, and then here on the left are some of my uh, bigger uh, flatheads and uh, pry bars as well. For the drawers, this top one, um, these are my uh, metric, I think. Yeah, this is my metric drawer. Um, my parents got me these ratcheting wrenches, and I love them. They're from Gear Wrench. Um, pretty good deal on Amazon. I'll link it in case you want to check them out. Some Allen keys and some precision tweezers or whatnot. In that drawer, in this one, we have our standard and then some nut drivers. On the right, this is uh, some pliers. This is the one from Harbor Freight, this wire uh, holder. I hate it, do not get it. Personally, it's not as versatile as the one that I got online on Amazon. Some of my tools don't fit as well, so I actually don't like it as much, which you'd think it'd be the same, but surprisingly it's not. All right, the bottom two drawers. Uh, again, this is really where it shines, how much I haven't really thought about the organization. So grease gun, hammer, some random wrenches and pliers, uh, cheap multimeter, staple gun, and then some calipers. I need to figure out a better layout for all this stuff, but for now, again, since I'm trying to build this box from an inductive approach as I fix things, as I see what tools I'm using more and more, those are the ones that I want to put in here. I don't want to just fill this box with tools and you know get annoyed every time I open it. I want this to be as functional as possible. Um, cock gun, air compressor stuff, a Milwaukee charger for a tool that I don't have, uh, some bits for these driver or these screwdrivers and my gloves here it's my milwaukee uh, drill that i can't use because it doesn't work uh craftsman set of tools there's some extra wrenches in here in case i ever need to modify some my knee pad and then shop vac and then some random fluids so if you would be interested in a video on how i guess i accumulated all these tools if I'm being frank with you, I would say that maybe I've spent a total of $2,500 on all the tools you've seen here. 
I wish I could say I was joking, but um, I have some tips and tricks that have really helped me to save money on tools and really build a collection. So if you would like to know more or you think it would be helpful for me to discuss some ideas to help you kind of build a collection and save money, because again, tools are expensive. It's unfortunately not a cheap hobby to get into tools, but I think the reward and the fun of it can definitely get you hooked. So if you would like some tips and some advice or kind of for me to walk you through how I did it, I'm more than happy to share that with you guys. I think it's valuable information to have. And honestly, if you have tips or suggestions, please share them below. This community is all about helping other people. So if you have any advice at all, please put it below. Because again, we're all out here doing the best we can, trying to get stuff fixed and better ourselves. So I appreciate you watching the video. Questions or comments, please put them below. And again, if you would be interested in a video of me discussing some tips and hacks and tricks to help you amass a tool collection that's pretty decent quality and gets the job done for an affordable price, let me know. And I'm more than happy to do that for y'all. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video and I'll catch you in the next one.